Hello to you, my fellow dark ones. How are you guys doing today? How's life? I have started today's episode by doing a teeny tiny bit of mining and I think my armor is about to break. Enderman spawning. Amazing. Dr. Yolanda. Hello, doctor. Survival in this mod pack is extremely difficult. What the hell did I get? Come on. Stunned. This could go really bad for him. So the main main reason that I went mining is because of armor. We were out of diamonds. And now I guess we do have a decent supply relatively. So the Enderman spawnic that we got is actually very important for me because in this mod pack there is a mod which adds different Endermen and they really drop different types of garbage so there is no vanilla Enderman. Now that we have one we shall put him in a jar and I guess we leave it with our friends. That should give us some Ender Pearls as well as some experience because in Ars Nevu only hostile mobs are going to drop experience gems. This is like solidified XP from actually additions. You might also notice that I have made myself a dank null. That is another reason that I needed diamonds. Yeah, we should be able to upgrade it. Obsidian is fine, nether stars or not. Before we start today's project, I think I have to do some explanations. This mod pack is called all the mods and it's 1.20. That is obvious, but what does it mean? Well, it is all the mods, so we do have all the modium and most of the items are gated behind this item. It is 1.20, so you can't really just upgrade your tools to netherite, you need a smithing template. And where do you find it? In a stupid bastion. And obviously, in order to get all the modium, you need a netherite pick. I do have my terror shatter and this is a netherite mining level, but I don't mind getting some netherite. Hello? What do you sell? I don't have emeralds. Jerk, you made me poison you and poison myself in the process. Anyways, the gist of it is in order to get all the modium ore, we have to fight the warden. Or get a micro universe collector from Greg Tech, which is really not gonna happen, it's UEV. So long story short, we have to start gearing up and thankfully we have apotheosis in this mod pack. Whenever you're killing mobs, you're going to get different types of gems. We're going to use the garbage ones, we throw them on the ground and crush them with an anvil. Aha, that gives us gem dust, correct? That stupid gem dust is going to allow us to make something called a salvaging table, which is very important. Because whenever we are fighting apotheosis bosses or sometimes mobs drop it, we are going to get different types of armor with different affixes. If we salvage them, we are going to get different types of shards. You see? And later on, these shards can be used in a forging table in order to give us better tools. Obviously, the reforging table itself, which has a max rarity of mythic, cannot be made at this very moment because it does require epic rarity material. So for the moment, we just go with the garbage one. <laughs> Due to the crazy amount of enchantments that I have, you can't really see, but this is a normal Terra Shatterer. If I put it inside the reforged table, add some gem dust and some luminous crystal shards, you see, we can add more affixes. Actually, for the moment, I think we should do it with the sword. If we had 30 levels of experience, which I do. Ah, you need more dust. Okay, it's fine. We have more gems. That gives us two empty sockets and critical chance. Not that bad. It's just that I don't think we have any more gems to socket it. It's okay. I go hunt some mobs. Well, I found an epic boss. That's not bad. He does have a bunch of health. Is the problem. It flies. <laughs> what the hell? I think he died. Yeah. That is epic. Okay, I made myself some armor, I have enchanted them, and we do have a few affixes. And using the smithing table, we're also going to socket our sword. More attack speed, I guess. We have some ender pearls, and I got a waste stone, and I think I found what we wanted. On the map, you can see a lot of piglin brutes, so that should be a bastion. Oops, oops, come on. And there's an epic boss. Oh my goodness. That is from Nether Delight. It explodes. Do you think there is a chance we can kill him? Nope. He saw me. I think he's fat. We can hide. Hello. Whoops. Okay, he does an area of damage. As long as he doesn't teleport me, I'm good. And he flies. Awesome. Okay. He died. We finally got something epic. Let's go to the stupid bastion. But wait a minute. These have been added. Ew. Ew. Oh, so apart from Ludicrite, you have new blocks. Interesting. We will get to that later on. Don't you worry. I think we have found the bastion. Yes. Those were the days. I'm not looking forward to that. So not every bastion is going to give us the best chance. Oops, I hit a pigman. It should have a treasure room or something. You know, for the moment, maybe we should just wear the helmet. So what do we get? Uh, nothing special. Nothing special. Oop, smithing template. Uh -huh. We can dupe it, right? With diamonds? Yes. Soul speed. And I guess that was the only important things. Nether banana. I can have a banana. You should really repair your bastions. It's full of holes. Well, I brought a waypoint just in case, but I guess we can just go home. We don't need to be here anymore. Let me go. Yes, home sweet home. I guess now the only thing that I need to find is some netherite. And that should be the most easiest thing ever. I can't hit him. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I have been digging for a while. And yes, we have ancient debris. 
Just the one. And yeah, for some reason, I ran into a fortress. It was underground. I have no idea what it was doing there. Anyways, we shall have our waystone and we're going to go home. Oops, it's fine. We just want to brew some potions. If you're lazy to find a certain ore, what you can do is that you can make an ender powder using a pestle and mortar. Then you should literally have one piece of that ore that you want. And voila, you will get netherite powder. And yes, 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 that is from Potion Master. We get calcinated netherite powder and now we can brew a potion, netherite site, for five minutes. I don't think you can improve it. No, nope. there is no extended version. We take it. So now if I drink this potion, we should be able to find every single ancient debris. This is going to be so easy. Yep. Okay, so we shall upgrade our chest plate, the legging, the sword, and I guess for the moment that's it. Now I should just find the deep dark. When you're holding the nature's compass in your hand, uh, look at the frame rates. It's fine. On the hotbar, it also works. Well, I guess it wasn't very surprising to find it under a mountain. Oh, that's a shrieker. I'm just looking at it. This can go really bad. Uh, uh oh, I'm activating everything. Oh, look, all the modium. Anyways, we're going to have a waystone here and maybe light it up. Probably take the old modium and yes, I can harvest it. Oh, wow, five. And I guess now that we're here, maybe we should kill the warden. There's only one darkness and that's me. Although nothing is being activated. Maybe I should shut up. Oh, wait a minute. This is 1.20. We have armor trims. I will try to find something. Don't you worry. We just need to find chests. Smithing template. Ward armor. Okay. Good for me. I'm just activating everything and I think he spawned. Nice. Swift sneak. That's good. And that is the warden. Hello, boy. 500 health. That's not good. I'm stuck. Yeah, I think there's no point of fighting him. We should just run away. Oh, there's one more Aldemodium. Yeah, we just go home. We need better armor anyways. I just killed somebody named Ken and he gave me a netherite helmet and a netherite chest plate. It's fine. We are going to recycle the chest plate. We do need the fabric. And since this is something that I have been excited about since 1.20, we're going to duplicate our smithing template and we are going to get a stupid armor trim. So the template goes in and I think the color depends on the ore that you put in. Ooh, shiny and purple. I don't look amazing, but it's fine. It's purple. Actually, enchanted netherite is purple, so we have purple on purple. It's double amazing. Another thing is that now that we have access to netherite, we should be able to upgrade you into the reforging table. Like so. This is actually great because now we should be able to have mythic items. You need 90 levels. Oh my goodness. I don't think there is a way, right? Do we have some shards? Only six. Work harder, guys. Please. Well, we can get also a bit of experience from different quests, I think. Yeah, everyone gives you a bit. Oh my goodness, so much garbage. That's level 53. Oh, we got an extra old modium. I kind of forgot. That's a reward. Now we have total of 11. We shall double it, so we shall have 22. Yay, we have it. This is actually very useful because if you want to make the laser drill, you're going to need vibranium. You're going to need all the modium. A salvager, which is extremely useful, does require some all the modium nuggets. Now we can also make a telepad, go to the mining dimension or put it inside the nether and go to the all the modium dimension and even have a builder. And of course, get into the quarry plus mod. So I'm happy. A cow spawn egg. Interesting. Alright guys, it's been a few hours later and I have done a ton of mining. I went to the twilight forest, we have just over 2000 iron, more than 8000 coal and 7400 raw copper and a bunch of other goodies, but you get the gist. We actually had way more coal, but I used it to make mana and well, I upgraded my band of mana to the terror steel version. And yeah, as a result, I also got like 80 plus levels, which I used it to enchant my armor. None of them are amazing and we don't even have mending, but we will see how it goes. Also from the montage, you might notice that we have an extra build. No, actually, there's two of them. This one is our greenhouse, the place that we're going to have our botany pot so that we can gather some resources, you know, like spruce and cactus and bamboo and etc. And the other one is going to be our kitchen. We need a big kitchen. And yes, I have just been swimming and I caught a tuna in a bucket. This is from the sushi mod, one of my favorite mods. And well, they do spawn in rivers. I was under the impression that you can only find tuna fish in the oceans. In other news, I did spend a lot of time in the twilight forest and somebody dropped this. This is a seeker bow, meaning that if you fire an arrow, it's going to seek an enemy. It's great for people who cannot aim at anything. I'm not talking about me, obviously. Anyways, moving on. Last episode, I did mention that today we are going to work on railcraft, but I think we should finish this area first, because if I move to a new location, then this place is going to remain unfinished. And I have a habit of leaving everything unfinished. So let's not encourage bad habits. Wait a minute. Dragon leg with sauce. And it's purple. Put everything on hold. We need to go to the end. Now. Uh -huh. 
Is that a Stargate? That is a Stargate. How the hell did I miss this mod? Okay, you have to find the DHDs and you cannot make the gate itself. Oh, you need to have the codes. I don't know, we just press random buttons. Just dial something, you know? We're just gonna mark it on the map. Sometimes I really hate the game. It's been 2,500 blocks. I stand corrected. 3,500 blocks. I think I heard a raven. Oh. Stupid birds. I hate you. You know, their ancestors, the dinosaurs, went extinct. Birds are so worthless that they couldn't even do that. Oh my goodness. That should be full of loot. Go on, by the way, it's been 4,500 blocks. But it seems to be somewhere around here. Oh, that was pretty amazing. Oh, it's uh, one of those fortresses. <laughs> the big ones. And considering the fact that everything is dark, I guess see you in an hour. I do have night vision, right? Yeah. Actually, did you know we can cheat with the journey map? It's over there. Oh, I'm on it. Yes, we have arrived. Ladies and gentlemen, see you in hell. We should have pearls. This is a weird end. I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. Also, where's the dragon? Oh, he's being summoned. Uh, we shall have a waypoint and I cannot place the waypoint. Maybe I can after I kill him. Can I place it now? Yes, this is going to be fun. Oh, and the most important thing is that I have arrived prepared. Meaning that we do have bottles uh, for the breath and also in their air from Botania. Ilmanite. Anyways, let me try to get rid of him and I'll be right back. It fell down. What if we put it over there? I'm too close. Yep, it works. Wait a minute. <laughs> you have to go up there to kill her? That's not easy. Fine. We have the Seeker bow. But I think it's going to just hit the Enderman. Who comes up with these obstacles? Actually, this is kind of fun. He can't touch me. Oops. Maybe he can. Or she. Another very important fact is that the Seeker bow is amazing. Even I don't miss. We are almost to the end. Come on, yes! Finally! Well, I did manage to get tons of garbage. And I was hoping to get some dragon flesh. I thought to myself, let's try to find an elytra and it's not going well. And just FYI, that is a mythic boss. I want the essence. Okay, that's not really gonna happen then. Oh, and by the way, I did manage to find an end city map. It seems to be to the south. And I really want to avoid bridging, it's not fun. Although I would like to mention, so far it's not a very bad end. Everything seems to be connected. These guys are the jerks. Oh, Corrupted Ender Pearl teleports you to a random location. Awesome. I shouldn't have it on the hotbar. Well, this is not the same one, but there was one on my way. Oh, I don't die if I fall into the void. That's good. And I guess I don't really need the map. We can just run away. Because this one had a ship. Yep. Orb of temporary flight. Really? I don't think the orb did anything. Okay, so I do have a feeling maybe we should take off our boots. This one gives me plus one step height, meaning that I, I can jump off a fence. I also killed the shulkers over there, so maybe we can just pearl using the void charm. How is it going to prevent me from dying if I fall into the void? Well, let's do it anyways. Oh boy, I'm never ever going to do this again. Give me my elytra, please. Thank you. Okay, I'm back from the end, but some of you guys might notice a small flaw. I think you have to kill the dragon with a knife. And yeah, thanks to Reliquary, we have access to infinite supply of gas tears. As long as we kill creepers, obviously. So ladies and gentlemen, see you in around 3 seconds. Shut up. Exactly. Forgot to bring a torch. Uh, can you break the egg using an end rod? No. Do you have torches? No. It's fine. I have a waypoint. I can just go and bring a torch. Also, I think we should stop having fights because my armor is about to break. Anyways, here's a torch. Give me my egg. Thank you. Because I think in this mod, you actually have uses for the dragon egg. It's fine. See you at the base. It's been a while later. I have been working on our area. Now we do have a semi-functioning kitchen. We have a feast. We have our kitchen sink. And we do have a sushi area. But before being able to make it operational, what we need to do is that we need to improve our mob farm, hence I need to capture more mobs. The problem is that my armor is about to break and I only have one mending book which I looted. So I guess it's time to steal a few villagers. Did I break something? No. Hey you, you will do. We do have the easy villagers mod so you can just pick up villagers. Yeah, why not? I think it's better to carry the unemployed versions. Very cool, we have four villagers. That should be a decent number to get started with. And yes, it's funny, when you have them in your inventory, they make villager noises. So let us see what do we need. We need to have some sort of a converter. 
This is going to convert them into a zombie villager and reduce the prices. And yes, this place is going to be very messy. We need a potion of weakness, golden apple, and a villager. I had a brew stand. I'm an idiot. I always do this. Uh, if you want water bottles, you can use your elevator. So potion of weakness, one golden apple, and the potion. <laughs> That's funny. Does it take four minutes? Because if so, maybe we're going to need a bit more. Yeah, let us get one more. One of them seems to have converted. Perfect. We shall put him inside the trader, and you shall be a Fletcher. So the best part of Easy Villagers mod is not carrying the villagers, is the cycling of trades. For the Fletcher, it's not very useful, but for mending, it is. Especially when you have Apotheosis in the mod pack, which gives you like 4 million different types of trades. The downside is that I don't think I get experience. Oh, I do. Also, is it like broken? No. <laughs> I thought trades are going to be infinite. The other dude has converted as well, so you go into the trader, and you're going to be my mending guy, for now. Yeah, you see, this is gonna take ages. Mending! <laughs> Finally! Wait a minute, why is it so cheap? Well, I don't really care. We have what we want. Although, to be very fair, I don't think it's going to work on the elytra. Because if you want to wear your armor and your elytra at the same time, you have to put the elytra in the bubble slot. It takes the spot of backpacks. But I don't think it's going to be repaired. Which is perfectly fine, because we do have Forbidden and Arcanus, and I think we would be able to make the elytra unbreakable. You can't put mending on it, but... Oh, I don't have enough experience, I guess. It's fine. Uh, what if we remove the enchantments? I know it's stupid. And then try it? Yeah. Let's see, now we can get some sort of an unbreaking. Yep, XP boost on an elytra, come on. Yeah, I'm breaking four. I'm not picky. So I came to the Twilight Forest to get some experience. Yeah, we're repairing the armor, perfect. The helmet is repaired. Whoops, I have mentioned, we do need to have a few mobs and well, some of them are here. We want to contain them in jars. Come on, get contained. Is he in a jar? Yeah, so we do have the Wither Skeleton. Now we need the blades. You know, since we have fire resistance, this should be easy. Remember, it has to be within three blocks. We're done. In addition to that, we shall have a creeper, a chicken, and one stupid pig. It's just that I don't really know what kind of other mobs do we need for the moment. Anywho, we have to take care of the storage. As a quest reward, I did manage to get a drawer controller, I think. Yeah. Oh, it's called storage controller now. And I guess some of the things that we're going to need is a linking tool and one configuration tool. And I don't want them to be made out of oak. I guess we go with spruce. The advantage of functional storage over storage drawers is that the controller doesn't really have to be touching the drawers. So technically speaking, you should be able to put the controller almost wherever you want and then put your drawers wherever you want. And then, you know, just link it to the drawers. I love wireless technology. For the moment, we don't really have that many mobs and these are the drops that we're getting. It's not that bad. I do get ender pearls and where's the blaze rod? I was going to say that getting ender chests is going to be much easier, but yeah, we're getting one. Maybe instead of having two cows, we should have two blazes. But that is not very important for today because there are two things that I want to do before wrapping up today's episode. One of them is that we have to start preparing for railcraft, so let us get a few coke ovens. It has to be hollow in the middle, so we want two, that is 52. It's fine, we just need more bricks. Uh, back here, I was trying to play around with create new age. Just ignore this contraption. <laughs> so again, back here, we're going to have our coke ovens. Temporarily. Is it formed? Perfect. This is from Railcraft, not immersive engineering, and I don't really think it matters. Creosote oil is creosote oil. We will get it soon. Now that we do have coke ovens, there are a few things that I need from the nether. One of them is soul sand. Just a bit. We want to be able to start making steel. And yeah, mechanism is faster, but we want to progress through the ages. I don't really want to rush is the thing. We also need to have a teeny tiny bit of magma cream. That should be more than enough. This also gives you magma cream, right? Yeah. Also gives you blaze rods. Let us start having our blast furnace. The first one. So it's a 3x4x3. By by How many blocks is that? <laughs> you know what? I'm not good at counting. This one also has to be hollow in the middle and yeah, it's formed. We have some cold coke. Perfect. We should be able to make our first pieces of steel. Because next episode I want to start making power using railcraft. And that does require a ton of steel. 32 is not a ton, but it's a good start. I think. Yay! The first piece. <laughs> Amazing. Is that a quest? No. Another tradition that I remembered on this channel is to kill the wither. Early on. Without eating, it's not a good idea. Hello? I get so many debuffs. That could have been bad. I really should change my sword. It's becoming deadly. But I guess let us get one more. For good measure. The key is to just hit him. Because I think I have lifesteal. Somewhere on the sword. Wait. Heart container. Paraglider. 
Increases maximum health by one heart up to 20 times. Do you eat it? Ooh, that was nice. We also have my favorite mod, Bubbly Heart Canisters. Don't you worry, we will get into that soon too. Apparently, our dearest Lord Traverse of Darkness has put a little secret for us. I don't really know what that is, but this one looks purple. I'm just saying. What does it do? You make a sword. Well, we can have the heart amulet, now that we're a bit rich. And I guess if we have enough wither bones, we should be able to have a few heart canisters? Only two. That is perfectly fine. Two more hearts. And this is a sign of a great mod developer. The heart amulet has its own slot. You don't have to sacrifice your other amulets. Anyways, the wither was not the thing that I wanted to do for today. The thing that I wanted to start doing today was to get into occultism. That is a demon seed. You get it by punching grass, and if we grow it, we should get some demon fruit and more seeds. For generating resources in this mod pack, since we are going with magic, I think occultism is our best bet. We just eat one of the fruits, and I think I have seen an occultism area nearby. Oh, it's a blood moon. I'm safe up here, I guess. Ladies and gentlemen, ignore the blood moon, ignore all the crazy mobs, that's what we're looking for. So if we eat our demon fruit, we should be able to harvest the wood. Come on. Yes. Otherworld wood. And there should also be stone. Yep. The effect went away. But yeah, we're good. I say we're good. They don't like me. So for those of you who don't know, you have to be under the effect of the demon fruit before you would be able to harvest these things. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look. Look at the crazy amount of mobs. Just as a very small clarification, you don't really need to do all of that in order to get other wood and other stone from occultism. You can just use the spirit fire. But in this way, at least you will get a bunch. Where are my diamonds? We don't have any diamonds. Oh, we do. 69. I have not played with occultism in a very long time, but I think in order to make spirit fire, we just need to drop the demon fruit and set it on fire. Yes. Now, andesite is going to give us other stone, and diamond is going to give us spirit attuned gem. And if I'm not wrong, there was also an ink. It's black dye. So there you go. So wait a minute, why doesn't the quest count? Yes, yes. Dictionary of spirits. This is our guide. Just for the quest to count, we're also going to drop an oak sapling. Lovely. Oh, and if you make the divination rod, it's going to help you find those grooves underground. I didn't know that. But basically, our goal is to get the master miner Morid. MMM. I don't remember this being in the recipe, but apparently you need the Afrit, you need the Genie, you need the Foliot, and well, you also need a lot of Isnium. We won't be able to get the final one today, but if we get Isnium by the end of today's episode, I'll be really happy. And for getting Isnium, we need the Otherworld Goggles. I think? I'm not really sure. Lens frame, glass lenses, four sacrificial balls, and one of them has to be upgraded to the golden version. So the ritual for making infused lenses is called spectral compulsion. Oh, I thought you have to unlock everything again. You can do this. Fine. We want the ritual. Finding them is a bit painful, but there you go. We also need to make a few chalks, that is ashes and other stone. So these are ashes, and how do you make this stone? Okay, you have to smelt it. So impure white chalk, we also need the gold. Oh, okay. Oh, I need a gold dust, which is perfectly fine. We have some gold ore, which we can crush. I think, yes. So there you go. Wait a minute, how do you make tallows? Blast furnace. Actually, I just remembered, it doesn't really have to be a blast furnace. This one is from Eidolon. I think there is a knife, yeah. The butcher's knife, and if you kill animals with it, you will get tallows. But this is easier. That should give us the candles. This is the wrong candle. Jerk. There are so many conflicting recipes in this mod pack that I think, yeah, we should use a crafting table. Like so. This is the correct candle. Oh, it could have been any candle. <laughs> My bad. But we have the spirit attuned crystal, sacrificial bowl, four of them like so. We shall cook the chalks, which I just remembered I forgot the other chalk. So there you go. And I guess we just draw. Drawing is nice. You cannot draw on leaves, which is perfectly fine. Oops. Oh, this is gonna take ages. Uh, there is a chalk remover thingy. I'm lazy to make it. But this should be the ritual. Perfect. Well, thankfully, we do have silver. We also need to have a book of binding for foliot. We shall mix it with our dictionary of spirits so that we get the foliot called... I have no idea how to read that. But the rest of this should be easy. We just put the ingredients on the sacrificial bowls. Book of binding goes in the center. And we wait. This is gonna take ages. I don't know why the mod author decided that this should take that long. Come on. Be ready. I said that sentence 30 se Yay! We have it. So, this should provide us with the Otherworld goggles. And I'm not really sure, but I think we need to have a very special pick. Oh, another ritual. Oh, and it's higher binding. Well, this one requires purple chalk, which is obsidian dust. Oh, come on. I don't want to get into tech. 
I just wanted to check if I can get Isnium with my Terra Shatter. I got Vibranium with my Terra Shatter. Interesting. I thought you have to make an Aldemodium pick. Anyways, Isnium is a very rare ore that you can only see it in the nether if you're wearing the goggles. Ah, you need to make the divination rod and attune it to netherrack. That will make finding it a bit easier. So here is my divination rod. I don't know how we should attune it to netherrack, but maybe right click, left click. Oh, okay. Sneak and right click. We try this again. I'm using the rod, but it's not doing anything. Okay. It seems we found something. It's very rare. And yeah, according to the quest book, as well as the guide, we have to make the new pick. But at least let us try to find that stupid thing. Wait a minute. You can't be down there. Well, I guess let us go and check it out. Oops. I think I broke it. So I didn't really want to get into technologies, but I'm actually very lazy to summon a folio to crush the obsidian for me. We're going to make a stupid metallurgic infuser like so. We are going to start getting into a teeny tiny bit of power just for a solar panel. So there you go. Here is a solar panel. And we just need to get two enriched alloys. I think that's it. We didn't even need to have the solar panel. We could have just put redstone inside. But they changed the textures. That looks so nice. Oh wait, I made the wrong one. We needed the circuit. Yep. Yeah. The basic control circuit. Mechanism and applied energy sticks have gone through a humongous update. I can't really wait to get into them. Anyways, we shall have our crushed obsidian and that will give us our purple chalk. I also need crushed end stone. <laughs> Why? Well, it is what it is. We're gonna summon a crusher. Hello. Crush it for me. The ritual is slow, he's slow, so yeah, it's gonna be fun. Thank you. But in any case, we have our purple chalk. Well, I think I have all the garbage in order to make the attuned pick. Here is our book. We need the pickaxe head. We need two sticks. And I need an extra ball. Hey, this one has five ingredients. So there you go. And here's your book. Give me the pick. I'm actually hoping that the folio does not despawn because uh, apparently we can't double Isnium. And we do need like four pieces. But we do have the pick. There is one nearby. It has been ages and ages later. We have the one. But we should be able to mine it at least. Oh, we have two. Didn't know that they come in clusters. So the problem is that your divination rod always points to the one that you have already found or accidentally you have destroyed. So I don't know. Is it like every time I have to make a new divination rod? You see, it's pointing towards that one. Yeah, wherever you are. Okay, we make a new one, I guess. It's cheap. But if Mr. Foliot is here, please double it. Actually, for the first tier, we only need four pieces. One for the lamp and three for the pickaxe. Anyways, we would not be able to mine anything today because I just realized in order to make the dimensional mine shaft, you need a block of Isnium, which is crazy. But at least we got like four ingots of Isnium, which is fine. But if we summon a Marid Crusher, I think each ore is going to give us six dust. That is something that we are going to check out next episode, because I think it is a good time to wrap up this one. If it took very long, I am very sorry. I was not planning for Isnium to take that long. So thank you so, so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. Till the next one. Bye bye. But oh, the decay rate is incredibly slow. <laughs> nice. Bye bye.